Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm Eddie Reyes and welcome back to another episode of King's Court. And let me start off by saying this. As someone that was big in his youthful days, I think I have some credibility when it comes to slimming down or losing your weight. I wasn't obese by any means, but I was in the path of getting so big that uh, I was probably going to have an unhealthy adult life. Uh, so I feel I have some credibility in when it comes to losing weight and you know just turning your life around and try to live a healthier lifestyle. I uh, I wouldn't say that I was overweight at any point of my uh, youth, but I my my body wasn't what it should be uh, in the sense of you know a good physique, a healthy physique. It wasn't until about uh, I was 13 or 14 that I finally got my uh, my physical appearance together. I lost it again a little bit in my in my late teens, but then uh, now I'm overweight by the sense of having a uh, muscle. Apparently, um, a few clicks from uh, being uh, from just passing the overweight piece uh, borderline. So, I feel I have some say, like I, like I mentioned, when it comes to losing weight, um, I think anyone that's big should be able to turn their life around and do something about it and not just live in it and just kind of grief over it. So, with that being said, I want to talk about Mike McCarthy's, uh, uh, I guess, fat shaming from Skip Bayless. Look, I... <laughs> I'm not gonna act like I don't judge people that are big. I mean, when I was big, uh, people were judging me, so I kind of feel like uh, I'd be able to, uh, from this perspective now, uh, not. I don't. It doesn't validate me talking smack about big people. It's just like, just turn your life around, you know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And for Mike McCarthy to make a speech and then Skip Bayless not appreciating it because of his own size, uh, that's a little bit unfair. Because here, here, here's what I have to say about it. You don't have to have a trainer that's fit to be able to tell you how to be fit, what to do, and whatever. Uh, I'm a strong believer in uh, someone that you know, you could fail at something, but you could end up teaching it. Uh, not obviously, if you don't have the experience, uh, the uh, validation is uh, not as strong. But obviously, if you have uh, studied or worked in that field, I think you have some sort of uh, leverage or, I guess, prestige to be talking about such things. Like, uh, it wasn't long ago where I was talking to a friend of mine asking, hey, at what physique what size would you or what weight would you uh not allow a trainer to train you of course i don't mean in the size of that they're they're muscular and huge no i'm thinking about round and you know chubby cheeks and whatever at what point are you gonna say no i'm not getting taught by you i'm not getting trained by you i'm gonna go find someone else or just do my own thing uh, if you studied such or worked, like I said, in such a, a field, then I feel the person has some validity to say, to say and, I guess, uh, teach a few things. In this case, a speech from Mike McCarthy. Skip Bayless body shamed him. He, he said he would prefer, he, he ideally would like a... Someone who speaks on such matters to be as fit, I guess, as he is. Uh, we all know how Skip Bayless is active. He works out about 4 in the morning or 5 in the morning, he said, just before uh, getting into Undisputed. And Jenny Taft, she rightfully so argued it because she thought it was a low blow from Skip Bayless. I thought it was a low blow too. For you to go on to that kind of stage and then say that on air... Uh, it's a touchy subject like I get it uh, I don't like uh, facts you know facts don't care about your feelings yeah I, I preach that but 
it's not. I don't. It's not like he said he was healthy. So I don't find anything that Mike McCarthy or what he was doing to be wrong. If he said um, something like, "Oh, you could be in any kind of shape and be healthy," then yes, he'd be wrong. But I find no wrong in in, in seeing someone or hearing someone say. Oh hey yeah, uh, be like this. Well, you're not that way. No, uh, it's. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, take advice. I wouldn't not take advice if someone told me, uh, "Hey, you should be studying this since you know this, and you're good at this." And that guy ends up not having a college degree. Like I don't. I, I'm not gonna take that advice with a grain of salt and just throw it away. I'm going to actually I'm going to actually get my my knowledge collect it and you know possibly use it um, that's why I think uh, Skip Bayless is in the wrong Jenny Taft uh, standing up for Mike McCarthy on air as Skip Bayless just finished having his opinion voiced uh, I think it's fine because she was defending the good uh, she didn't say he was healthy either um, he being Mike McCarthy so I think it's fine how she stood up for Mike McCarthy and for Mike McCarthy saying what he said and uh, you know delivering such a message to an audience uh, Skip Bayless as far as I'm concerned uh, he might have had a lot of good uh, teachers and coaches that were fit but that's not everybody uh, a lot of my uh, physical ed or coaches were old and had a had a gut but uh, I learned quite a bit from each guy uh, obviously it's it's you you take it a different way but you do take something out of it so that's why I don't believe just because you don't have the physique or, I guess, first-hand experience on such matters, I don't think it uh, discredits what you have to say about it. It's like also, I don't need to be a doctor to know abortion is wrong. Uh, that's my actual personal belief. I don't need uh, I don't need a doctor to tell me that abortion is wrong. I know it's wrong just by, uh, you know. Look, studying, reading, and uh, looking up things, and uh, getting my own opinion on it. Um, uh, no one ever taught me that uh, graffiti, uh, vandalism, uh, arson was wrong. I just know it to be wrong, and I don't need to be a criminal to know what's illegal. That's kind of how I take it. Uh, hopefully, you all think the same way. Um, especially as I mentioned, I am part of Zeus, as part, especially as I'm a part of the uh, Was Big Now Fit uh, Club. It's, uh, I think it's, sorry, my dog is right next to me. He's just walking around, but uh, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I think about the situation. Skip Bayless, you're, you're not wrong for saying what you said, but it doesn't deliver a good message for a lot of people that's all I have to say about what what, what, what he had to say on on, on air uh, of course he could say whatever he wants that's his opinion I'm not gonna change his mind if I were if he were to listen to me and he was in the same room as me but uh, you know just uh, put it in a different perspective is all I'm saying uh, so good job Jenny Taft I hope she uh, I hope she uh, fights or defends the good more often than not. Uh, I like how she fought back and she kind of, you know, barked back and she, she held her ground. And uh, hopefully it doesn't create a rift in Bayless's and Taft's uh, relationship or, you know, chemistry on air. Uh, I hope they both uh, get along well after the, uh, after today. And, um... Uh, that's all I gotta say about that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Am I wrong? Am I right? What do you have to say about such matters? Uh, you, you know where I stand. It's uh, 
it's reasonable for me for what Jenny Taft was saying. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.